So after taking a nap, we're now going to Shibuya. Shibuya is one of the most popular tourist spot here in Tokyo. Let's go! G? Pa? <laughs> So we're gonna go to Shibuya using a train because we love train. So we're here from this station. I'm gonna show you. Let me find it first. And we're gonna use the Ginza line. As you can see, it's the orange line. And we're gonna go to Shibuya. In this map, you can see how much the price is, how much is the ticket. So our ticket costs around 210 yen or 105 pesos. So we're using again the Ginza line and make sure to keep your ticket. Once you put it inside here, make sure to get it because you cannot get out of the train station if you lost your ticket. When we're here in Japan, we always use the train or subway because first it's very efficient and at the same time, it's cheaper. Wow! And there's a lot of people, a lot of tourists as well as locals because there's a lot of shopping malls here. But first, we're gonna go to the famous Hachiko. Hachiko is a famous dog. He became famous because he is so loyal to his master that even though his master died, he still waited for 10 years in this train station. So he is known to be as the most loyal dog. Sana all loyal, katulad ni Hachiko. Loyal. Cha! <laughs> so, if you're in Japan, taking a photo with this statue is a must. So, this is the famous Shibuya crossing, wherein this is one of the most busiest crossing across the world. So this is actually also a photo zone. So a lot of people take photos in here also. And of course, hindi magpapahuli ang aking parents. Picture, picture, smile. So this Starbucks has the best view ever. If you want to see all of those people crossing across the street at the same time, it is very Instagrammable. And of course, you can share it into your stories and reels. So this is really a tourist spot. So you should expect that there would be really a lot of people, like a lot, tourists, locals, and all over the world. So now we're looking for a watch shop that my dad saw on a vlog that he said that it sells like very cool watches like luxury watches and it has also different kind of unique stuff i guess because i'm not really a watch person but there's also the cochlea the cochlea it's a pre-love um items luxury items pre-love store there's a lot of stores and i will tour you around after we look for that specific shop that we're hunting right now actually the weather is also really nice not too cold and oh they have mega don quixote so a while ago we went to just a baby don quixote <laughs> but this one it's a mega don quixote and then we found a shop yes it's open until 7 30 and we arrive seven o'clock so here's the watch after 30 minutes of walking very serious at looking what floor so they really have a lot of watches here so if you're a watch lover i think you should definitely visit this place i put the name of the store in the screen it's called house kihiroba it is located here in shibuya so these are some of the prices so you'll have an idea this is a rolex this is all in yen so just convert it into peso or usd whatever currency you like so they offer men's watches they also have women watches and they have a lot of choices compared to the other one that we went through through my previous vlog so do watch my previous vlogs so here you go if you're a watch lover this is a watch lover haven for you 
So now we're here in Shibuya and I'm gonna walk you around Shibuya. What can you find and see here? So of course there's a lot of food, makdo. <laughs> if you like makdo because makdo Japan is different from makdo in the Philippines, makdo in the US. They have a different choices of food. Of course there's a lot of shops. They have ABC Mart, clothing stores. Actually there's fewer stores here compared before pandemic so if you get hungry there are also a lot of food choices here some restaurants that you like to try and this is mega don quijote that i'm telling you about so the other one we just had the baby and the mega of course it's mega they also have ramen if you get hungry but actually i'm not here for shopping i'm here for more of food tree because i love food so let's go and find some food i'm craving for some beer so let's go this is my favorite beer this is peach flavor with five percent alcohol so not too high just right amount success beer Cheers. Ooh, Zara. Of course, if you have some beer, you must have some food as well. So they call this chimek in Korea, but of course we're in Japan. So I bought some yangyum chicken in this Korean store. Thailand with the Oh hi. Wow. Of course, we must have takoyaki. Inet. super setup. Ayah kasa inet beer cheers. Nama, kau tu nak aku chicken touch is boy. Tadi yang isab beer. Peach beer. Serap. Nama lo tak nampak tadi yang. Ini mungkin ada tu ya. Eighteen thousand lagi nine thousand. So here are some stores you can find in Shibuya. Of course, they have IKEA. Actually, this is new. I've never seen this before. And then Big Echo, some bars, some Inuman. So I'm just gonna show you around a little bit. And then a lot of stores are closed actually. To go. There's a lot of cosplayers here as well, but some of them you cannot take photos or some of them you have to pay to take photos. After a long day, we're going back to our hotel and actually our hotel serves a free, as in free ramen and it's actually really good. So this is the free ramen th that they serve. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Like it, share it, subscribe. Bye!